This guy here, a leader in the Hamas, is Mushir al-Masri, and he was in Swiss Parliament in February 2012. And here it says, terribly annoying. And everybody here in Europe I talk to is tired of hearing about the Middle East for the last 70 years, as if Europeans and our problems don't exist in the media. Which is just as in the Bible, which is an Oriental book for the Orientals only, and which stops at the Mediterranean, because the God of the Orientals didn't see any Europeans. Here it says Celtic tribes, one of the European tribes, like the Celts and the G Germanic tribes. So, in this respect, the Bible is like today's media. Quite logical, of course, as both come out of Pharaoh's nobility in the background and who already had a writing long before anyone else in order to manipulate the minds and hearts of the people and the slaves, both in the Bible as well as in its prolongation called the media. Yes, Pharaoh's media are modern day's extension of the Bible and both only talk about the Orient. So, on the left side, it says, Salam Alaikum, which means, Peace be upon you. And the Philistines sending Qasam A rockets with a peace message. And on the right side, it says, Shalom Aleichem which also means peace be upon you, with bombs on Gaza as the ultimate peace message. And we can see that these words share the same origin in both languages, salam or shalom, and alaikum or alaikum. Due to the global censorship, I'm forced to call them Philistines, on the left side and jaywalkers on the right side, which are not at all derogatory expressions with no offense to either one. Okay, am I safe? Got it. And in the Orient, they all talk about peace, where the jaywalkers say shalom or shalom aleichem, meaning peace. And the Arabs say, Salam Alaikum, also meaning peace, which seems to be only out of strategical reasons. Because as soon as everyone believes the peace deal, the actual killings can start. Which for the Philistines comes out of the Takiyah for dissimulation or hiding one's true intentions. And I guess the jaywalkers on the right side have similar words for it, as they both come out of the same Abrahamic source. Remember, Salam Aleikum or Shalom Aleikum, it's the same. So they probably have a word like, so here it says, Takiyah, for the um, hiding the Qasam A rockets under Salam Alaikum. And here, probably something similar like Takiyah. So I wrote down here similar. I'm not, I don't know the, the word of it. And for the, uh, for the, uh, for the bombs on Gaza here. Yeah, Takiyah. Very important. Very important. So here you can read about the Takiyah in Wikipedia. In uh, the Philistine religion, 
I say it like this because I'm not even sure anymore if I can, if I'm, if I can, due to the censorship, if I can pronounce this word. You know, they all need help. Help us, please. And you know, you can't say anything anymore. You know. So in the Philistine religion, takia or takia is a precautionary dissimulation or denial of religious belief and practice. Generally, takia is the action of committing a sinful act such as feigning unbelief for a pious goal, like war, you know, like saying salam alaikum and at the same time, you know, sending a lot of missiles. You know, this is takia. Hiding one's beliefs, you know, there's no more belief, you say, it's war. Hiding one's beliefs has been a feature of the Philistine uh, religion since its earliest days and is acknowledged by, uh, by the religious ones of virtually all pers persuasions. However, the use of takiyah uh, varies, especially between Sunni and Shia uh, religious people and Sunni religious gain political supremacy over time and therefore, well, etc., etc. So it's a dissimulation or a denial of religious beliefs like Salam Alaikum and uh, in order to make war and to conquer. You know, like, I don't want to say the, I don't want to pronounce the harder word for it, you know, which you all understand, because then my video might be taken off, yeah? In spite of the fact they're all crying for help, but you can't talk about it. The same for the jaywalkers, you know, can't say anything anymore. Which is really a shame, you know, it's really... So, well, that was the whole thing, and you can look it up yourself. Takia. Yeah, you know, very important. So, these are very refined uh, communities, you know. A very refined civilizations in the Middle East. Um, as Westerners, we have no idea how refined they are, you know. Like the takia, the dissimulation or the denial of uh, the belief and, and other things, you know. Very refined, eh? Also, the food is very refined. It's not like a Western, you know, potatoes, carrots, and a, and a meatball. No, no, no. Very refined. Everything is refined there. You know. Takia. Then, after the initial peace simulations of the Takia, the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, butcheries can start. Where after both cry to the world, Please, someone help us. Which you can see here with the blooded doll here on a Philistine demonstration in Switzerland with a Swiss senator standing aside them. And here as well. So here it says, here you see the Philistine flags all over. Uh, this must be in Switzerland because of the th thick jackets. And here it says, the Swiss senator with Hamas. And here it says, bloody takia doll. This is also part of the takia, the dissimulation. You know, on, the, on the one si hand side, you know, really looking for troubles and shooting missiles. And on the other side, afterwards crying uh, with a blooded doll and, you know, to make us cry and all that. So here's the Swiss senator and the Hamas here. They even made it into the Swiss parliament here. Here you see the wood, the alpine wood of the Swiss Parliament, of the the uh, the inside. And here you see the uh, the Philistine Church, uh, the big one in uh, in the JJ base. Yeah. Here it says madness and a lot of dead bodies of soldiers in an airplane, and all this. 1000 air one nights of nightmare implies that america or europe needs to help them literally demanding young americans and young europeans 
to die for this utter madness. While these Orientals continue with their my God is bigger than your God, or we are bigger victims than you are. So here it says, my God is bigger than your God. So on the left side, the Philistines, and on the right side, the jaywalkers. In France, though, I met a lot of helpful Muslims who picked me up hitchhiking, always using the occasion to ask them if they had ever read the Quran, and they all said no, every single one of them. So when I see how in Sweden they burn the Quran, I don't really see the commotion when burning a book that even the Muslims themselves don't want to read. I, by the way, read the entire Quran from beginning to end for expanding my knowledge on the whole commotion around it. So here it says most Muslims never even read the Quran themselves. And here you see them burning the Quran in Sweden. Here it says Stram Kurs. Well, I suppose as in German Kurs, it means the, uh, the course, the direction. And the rest I don't understand. Probably means like a steady course or something, you know, like sailing a Viking ship or something. The Drakkar. Oh, these Viking boys, eh? And here you see the burning of the Quran. So I don't understand the commotion around it. I mean, if they don't even, the Muslims themselves want to read the book. What's it all about? Consequently, and due to all this madness, last month on Monday, October the 17th, 2023, three Swedish soccer fans were randomly gunned down, leaving two Swedes dead by a Muslim in Belgium because of the Quran burnings in Sweden. And I seriously fear that the Muslim assassin here never even read the Quran himself either, looking at the statistics. You know. So here it says, Muslim murders two random Swedes. And here it says something, I suppose it's Swedish, I don't understand it. And here you see the guy. Well, definitely doesn't look like a book reader. Not in my eyes. It's more like a worker. And um, a worker, you know, disillusioned of being in Europe. And, uh, and here you see two pharaohs putting flowers here, you know. Two politicians of pharaoh's nobility who are in fact the ones who set, who set it all up, you know, who set everything in place, you know, like importing masses of these ones here. So these ones here are responding with burning a book. And in the end, you know, they set it all up, you know, having people fight each other, like divide and rule, you know, remember. That's what the nobility ever always did. And then at the end, you know, seeing their result, putting some flowers, you know, and making some new laws against everyone, including us. Here it says the usual J runners. And on October 7th, 2023, we could also see the J walkers do another runner as usual just as they ran away from egypt then ran away from the romans in jerusalem then ran away from the spanish inquisition then ran away from Switzerland in 17 
76. Didn't defend themselves in World War II from the Nazi Templars. And contemplating this all, I must admit that it is very likely that soon you will run away again from the promised land, because apparently it is too tempting to do a runner all the time. Listen, jaywalkers or jay runners, if you have a rave party going on, only five clicks from the border, separating yourselves from the ones who want to annihilate you out of existence. You would definitely want at least to have some goodies on you or in your car so you can protect yourselves. So don't make it a global affair that you yourselves categorically refuse to defend yourselves and refuse to take responsibility for your own lives and instead believing that some god or your government or your own army will help you. You should be knowing by now that no god will help you, that your Erevraaf priests lie, that all these Freemason politicians lie, and just as in World War II, governments betray you, just as the Nazi Templar government did and lulled you asleep with a false sense of security. Your Israeli Freemason government did exactly the same in order to make you feel safe using the same Arabic takia against you. It says J runners, J runners, Jerusalem, the massacre of July the 14th, 1099. And this is why the French Republic, they took it as a national holiday, July 14th because the revolution was also a big, a huge massacre. July the 14th is always a massacre. Now, listen carefully, jaywalkers. Stop crying immediately and stop asking others to send their sons to the godforsaken Middle East and die for you, because it is not our fault that you don't defend yourselves. Neither was it the responsibility of the German people to save you from the Nazis, as the vast majority of the Germans were too afraid of the Nazis themselves in order to stand up. And the rest of them were entirely brainwashed during the preparation period of the Hitler Youth, where those Nazi Templars raped the minds of defenseless ten-year-olds through vicious propaganda. And this, well, it's not even ten-year-old, it's a six- or five-year-old. Eh? These kids had no chance at all you know, to avoid being raped in the mind, it says here, raped in the mind, by nobility's Baldur von Schirach, of Pharaoh's nobility, and he was a pink list killer and a pedophile. He hardly did any prison time at all after the war, or, or maybe none at all. Yeah. This is Pharaoh's nobility and the Nazi Templars. So, dear J runners, my advice to you is don't trust your government, don't trust your army nor police, and don't trust your priests with gods that are always absent anyway. It says, don't trust your government. And this here was George Carlin, or is George Carlin, who says, 
Governments don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking that is against their interests. They want obedient workers, people who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork, and just dumb enough to passively accept it. Jaywalkers do as those great Bielski brothers did during World War II, who were secular jaywalkers and believed in nothing, believed no one except themselves and common sense without all the religious hocus-pocus, and therefore they survived. Watch this great video, Defiance, to see their story, and then do the same. So here it says the Gaza Metro, which is the tunnel system underneath Gaza, with a beer at the end of the tunnel. And here it says stop tunnel vision. And tunnel vision means that you don't see things clear anymore with a limited view as you're so stressed out focusing on one thing only which happens a lot to soldiers in war and when you get chronically stuck in that tunnel vision it's called PTSD for post traumatic stress disorder and here a couple of beers might help you see the end of the tunnel. So my advice, though, to the Philistines is use your tunnels to get some beer over and just chill out. Then disconnect from your murderous obsessions and shove some electrical guitars through your Gaza metro and make some music, preferably heavy metal. We do this in our part of the world, and it works really well. So why can't you do as anybody else, grow up and make something out of your lives, instead of constantly trying to make everyone else's life a misery? Okay. Got it, boys. Let's rock and roll and at least pretend to be happy. And this is my tunnel vision for you. You see, there's tunnel vision and there are tunnel visions. So here you can see the Gaza Metro. Here you can see the Philistine heavy metal. Here it says stop tunnel vision. So there is tunnel vision and there are tunnel visions. So here it says in every war there are three parties. So in this case there are the Philistines, there are the Jaywalkers, and there's Pharaoh. So I myself choose no party in this affair, neither for the jaywalkers nor for the Philistines, because there is a third party who are the real enemy, Pharaoh. Just as in the Ukraine war, there are not just two parties, Russians and Ukrainians, no, there are three parties. Russians, Ukrainians, and Pharaoh's nobility, who the latter have their base in Switzerland. So, he, of course, these two, Mr. Putin and Mr. Zelensky, they are Pharaohs, but it's just a good image to show Russia, you know, and Ukraine and Pharaoh. So, here you can see Mr. Putin with his worthless tanks, with the, uh, the barrel of the tank, you know, like. Uh, like um, being bent down, and here you see Zelensky, Ukrainian flag, 
and getting all the goodies from NATO and the uh, and the Ukrainian bag, eh? And here, of course, Pharaoh, uh, all the generals, all the politicians, all the presidents, all Pharaonic Freemasons. And here it says again, every war there are three parties. So it was therefore in 2007 that the Swiss government decided to collaborate with the Philistines and their Hamas, which you can read here in this official announcement of the Swiss Seven Heads of the Beast, which directly led to five years later for the Swiss to invite the Hamas into Swiss Parliament, about which I already made some videos about it 10 years ago, and which you can find on my channel, Hatzefratz. So this is official. Here it says the, um, uh, the Swiss Confederation here with the, the, the inversed uh, Templars flag. Here it says the Federal Council portal of the Swiss government. It's official. You can find it all, you know, in the internet here. Near East, an agreement signed between Hamas and Fatah. Here again. An agreement signed between Hamas and Fatah. And here you can put it on any language you want. Like here's German, French, Italian, and English. So I put it in English for you. And I just scroll down a little bit. There we go. That's better. Now it's blue. So here it says, Switzerland is willing to cooperate with the Palestinian government. Now, what is the Palestinian government? Here it says, Hamas and Fatah on forming a national unity government. So instead of writing down here, Switzerland is willing to cooperate with the Palestinian government, we can... Uh, at the same time, just as well, we can read Switzerland is cooperating with the Hamas. I mean, that's what it says, people. And again, they call themselves a neutral state. Well, now I told you in my last video, that's only for Pharaoh's nobility, for the elite. For us, the people, there's no neutrality. And then the Swissies, they even financed this so-called Palestinian government. I mean... Write down Hamas, you know, they send money to Hamas. And with the money, what did they do with it? You know, they built tunnels and, uh, and they, they bought all the, um, all the things they needed for the, the missiles and the guns and, and also America the, and, and the, uh, the European Communion, the European, uh, the EC, European Community. They also send loads of money. So here we can see what's exactly what's going on, you know. I told you, there are always three parties, and the third party is Pharaoh, and this is Pharaoh's base of the beast. And, you know, they just make two peoples fight each other. You know, they, they give all the guns, all the money. The same thing in the Gaza war, as in, uh, in the Ukraine war. You know, with the NATO giving all the weapons and uh, and Iran giving weapons to the uh, to the to the Ruskies and uh, missiles and, and and here also apparently Iran supplying weapons to the uh, Gaza. I don't know if it's true, by the way, but I don't. I do know it's true that the U.S., European Community, and the Swissies they give money to the Hamas which was the government from uh, February the 9th, 2007 onwards, you know. And, and, and this is still valid for the Swissies, you know. They still have this agreement until today, you know, nothing changed. So the Swiss parliament, they call it Bundeshaus, Bund. It means an alliance, or I told you, it's an alliance with the Knights Templars. It's not alliance with the people. Here are the phone numbers. Here's the email. So if you want to have some fun, 
you know, here's some more about it, which you can read. You know, well, there was a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter. So here's what it says, eh? Swissies are financing the Hamas. They're financing the war. They're financing the murders of October the 7th. And of course, in conjunction with the uh, the Israeli government, because they're the same pharaohs, eh? So, wakey, wakey, everybody, eh? Philistines, wakey, wakey. Europeans, the white race, wakey, wakey. The jaywalkers, wakey, wakey. Everybody, wake up, eh? The Asians, the Nubians, the Ukrainians, the Ruskies, everybody wake up, eh? So here you can see the Swiss Senator Geri Müller again, whom I've showed you just before with the uh, the blooded doll, the, uh, the Philistine doll, poor child, poor doll. So, and here it says, Bern, Switzerland, February 2012, in Swiss Parliament. So, he invited um, the Hamas uh, into Swiss Parliament. Like this one here, Sayed Abu Musameh, Mushir al-Masri, and Kamis al-Najjar. And here the Swissies use the same technique as with their banks sacrificing the Credit Suisse, taking all the risks, then taken over by the UBS, or the pharmaceutical company Novartis, doing all the criminal activities with Roche right next door as the ever-standing pillar. The very same in Swiss Parliament, with Swiss Senator Geri Müller, taking all the flack for inviting the Hamas headshed into the Swiss parliament, thus boosting Hamas's morale, making them more bold with the support of another country, thus augmenting the probability of another terrorist attack. But not in Switzerland, as they are friends now. Get it, folks? Ah, this is very intelligent, eh? So here in February 2012, you can see the Swiss senator with the spectacles and Mushir al-Masri together holding a backgammon gaze with a gold mosque popping out. Fancy a game of backgammon, do you know? Mushir al-Masri, a top Hamas spokesman is saying things like, we shall uproot the jaywalkers with our axes, knives, guns. We will chop off their leaders' heads. <laughs> Fancy another game of backgammon, Mr. Mushir al-Masri. So, it is the guy whom we just saw in the Swiss parliament, smiling next to the, to the Swiss senator who really boosted his morale, so he started saying things like this, you know. Here it says, Senior Hamas official Mushir al-Masri uh, praises, uh, praises recent attacks in, in the JJ base and declares we will uproot the, um, the jaywalkers with our axes, knives, guns. We will chop off the leaders' heads. And this is... Um, by the uh, by, the Philistines saying it themselves here again. Uh, this is on Memory TV. So here in May 7, 2022, rally in support of Hamas Gaza leader Yahya Sinwar that aired on Al Aqsa TV, Hamas Gaza, Hamas MP Mushir Al Masri. You know, the guy who was in Swiss Parliament, yeah, saluted the perpetrators of the recent deadly terrorist attack in the Israel, in the uh, in the JJ Bay cities of Ilat, Tel Aviv, and Hadera. He said that the Palestine, the Philistines will uproot the Jay Walkers' thorns with their axes, cleavers, knives, guns, nails, 
adding that the Philistine sword will not be sheathed until Israel um, JJ Bay's leaders are beheaded. Al Masri declared, "We love martyrdom. It's noteworthy that Hamas Gaza leader Yahya Sinwar, who is actually the, the most sought-after guy at the moment." recently encouraged the Philistines to carry out attacks against uh, jaywalkers with guns, clever, cleavers, and axes. Well, the rest, you're going you're gonna to look at it yourself. So this is a pal of the Swissies, eh? They really boosted their morale, like, you know, inviting them to into the Swiss parliament. You know, and then, you know, they really got really very bold after that, you know. So, yeah, it's it's like a game of backgammon, you know. It's like uh, it's like with the takia dissimulation, you know. You just you pretend to do something else and just smile in the Swiss uh, parliament. And then here, you know, he he wants to kill everyone, like, you know. And don't think, you know, that uh, w the, the white race, we are not part of the, uh, of the ones uh, he, he wants to be killed. Eh? They just want to kill everyone. You know? We're also into the, uh, in the crosshairs by these guys. Uh, mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you that. Eh? So the picture inside the Swiss parliament again with the alpine wood here. The Swiss senator and Mushir Al Masri, you know, he is nicely smiling. You know, that's takia, you know, dissimulation, eh? And here you got the backgammon gaze. You know, it's like a chess game around the uh, around the big mosque here. So, and to the left we can see Doctor Syed Salem Abu Musameh, one of the founders of Hamas and PhD in Islamic religion. In 1989, Hamas leader Abu Marzouk made Abu Musame general commander of the Gaza Strip. And to the right, Dr. Kamiz Yavdat al Najjar, a physician, probably taken into the delegation to Switzerland to beg for money for the poor children of Philistine, considering the medical status of the operation by these Hamas hotshots. Huh. Very smart move for this backgammon game and its obvious takia. So here it says the victim contest with a blooded doll, doll here in a Swiss protest for the Hamas by the Swiss senator Geri Müller, whom we can see here as well, together with uh, Mushir al-Masri, with the, the Begemen case. So they're using a lot of dolls, a lot of toys to make a point, you know, Begemen case, a blooded doll, you know, the takia, yeah. Well, the whole thing seems to be a victim contest where all parties want to portray themselves as the biggest victim, where the UN and the international community function as a mother with two spoiled children saying, He started, she hit me first. And even the whole thing sounds serious and intelligent on TV. But really, do we need this infantile behavior in the 21st century? Be aware of Swissy here, showing a blooded doll in order to spark more wars. So the Swiss Nazi banks and the Swiss pharmaceutical industries can make more money. Remember how Swissy did the same in 1923 and inviting Adolf Hitler to Zurich, Switzerland, and finance him, just as today inviting the Hamas to Switzerland. 
I've shown you this in many of my videos. It's just history repeating itself. And always the Swiss have their dirty little fingers in it. Therefore, two months ago, on August 30th, 2023, many Swiss celebrated the centennial of Adolf Hitler being in Switzerland 100 years ago on August 30th, 1923. I guess after World War III, Swissy will do the same and celebrate the Hamas centennial in Switzerland 100 years from now. So here you see Adolf, a guy with a gun in his pocket. And it says 2023, 100-year centennial, Hitler in Zurich, August 30th, 1923. So two months ago, it was exactly 100 years ago that this event happened. Altogether, in conjunction with the Swiss Grey Eminences, François Genoux and Hans Huber, Al Suisseri, the latter in 2002, coming to our house in Switzerland and threatened me and my very young children, about which I made these videos here 10 years ago on my channel Gatsefrat. François Genoux was a friend of Amin Al Husseini, the uncle of Yasser Arafat. And this Swiss Grey Eminence was also a personal friend of Adolf Hitler and Heinrich Himmler. So here it says, Channel Gatsefrats, 10 years ago. So you go to my channel, Gatsefrats, and then you scroll down until you see the one eyed Odin. And then watch these four videos here. So you can also write down the title, so I don't have to do it all again. You know, it's a lot of work. So this guy here is the Swiss Grey Eminence, François Genoux. Extremely dangerous. Personal friend of Adolf Hitler, and also a friend of Amin al Husseini. this one here, who was at the head of two Muslim divisions, SS divisions, the SS Division Hanshar and the SS Division Skanderbeg of Albanians, the other one of Bosnians and Palestinians, who did a real jihad in the Balkans in Europe, killing 400,000 people and uh, transporting them to the uh, horrific concentration camp of Jasenovac, about which people say it was even worse than Auschwitz. Well, it's a bit hard to imagine, but I mean, the way they were killed was very bloody in Jasenovac. Uh, you know, it's all one circle, you know. And here is this video uh, I made 10 years ago about the Swiss senator. It says, Gary Müller, Swiss senator, uh, how he invited the Hamas uh, in the Swiss parliament with more pictures. And here, you can see here the Swiss president, uh, Herbert Hoover, and here J. Edgar Hoover. And they all come out of Swiss descent of the name Huber. And I was uh, with my children. I got um, uh, threatened by this guy here, Hans Huber al Swissri, who has also the same head. His name is also Huber, just like the president Herbert Huber and J. Ed Edgar Huber. You know, these people are extremely dangerous people and we must stop them now before it's too late. And if we don't do anything, it will be too late very soon because they, they're working towards the uh, World War III. So you better watch these four videos because I'm not going to do it again. I, I'm tired. I've been working 13 years on all this and as being a homeless, it's not easy at all. You know, so you watch this. So I, I don't put it in this video here, right? On my channel, Gatsefrats, 10 years ago. You got all the information there.
So this is the very same picture here in my channel before I took a screenshot so I could write down the names and everything in it. But the names are here, you know, François Genou. Uh, here's no name. Well, here's a name. And here's Senator Gary Muller. So, you know, I, so you just scroll down in the channel. So now I'll, I'll be going up here in my, in my channel. And here it is in the section videos on my channel, Gatsafrats. So you can all look it up yourself. Yes, Swaziland always has its dirty fingers in it somehow, as it is the so-called neutral base of Pharaoh and for their pharaonic nobility only. For those who haven't seen my previous videos, here I explain in two Brightian films all the code words I use to avoid censorship. So here is part one, entitled Censorship Vocabulary, and here part two, Forbidden Words. On my channel on Brightian, which you can see here, brightian.com, uh, my channel is this one, Gure, and then the second one, Gure. And for those new to my channel who don't understand how I got to um, the, the, the Faro connection and the, uh, the Templar connection to Switzerland. So in the Swiss B series, which you can see here, I explain how we're being ruled by Faro. Here you can see part one, and there are 11 parts. So this is part one here. Here's the title on my channel, Gure here, the same channel. And if you watch here, in the description underneath the video, it says more. And here you got part two, part three, with the uh, the URL and part nine, part ten, only part eleven I haven't put it in it yet, but eleven is also on the same channel here. So it says the new words, or there's a conspiracy theory that hypothesizes. I should write it with an S, boys, not with a Z. A secretly emerging totalitarian world government. It's not a conspiracy theory, as I explained to you. It's a very old thing by the Knights Templars when they founded Switzerland in 1291. They made the horizontal rule and called it the New World Order. And the Old World Order is the old vertical feudal rule by the king. So, and this was, um, it's in German. Uh, about how I got uh, arrested again and again by an anti-terrorist court.